everybody. How's it going? Uh, I wanted to do a quick video on uh, Universal G Code Sender um, with my uh, Millwright Carve King 2. So in a in a past work life, I used uh, Shapoko, and uh, I got really used to sort of using Carbide Create to do my um, to do my designs and create my toolpaths on my G Code, and then I would use Carbide Motion to control the machine. Um, because, you know, that stuff works really well together when it's all made to work well together. So with the Millwright, you, you, I'm using um, UGS. Um, and one thing I really liked about the Carbide Motion was that it had uh, presets as far as moving the machine to different spots on the bed uh, rapidly. And it had, I don't know, nine or something like that laying around the machine. So like front left and middle and front right and things like that. And I always like having that. <clears throat> uh, it just saves a couple extra seconds, right, from jogging the machine out of the way if you want to look at things. But uh, um, so this is a video about how to how to uh, set those positions in UGS and create macros so that it always sort of uh, goes back to those positions. This is really useful too if you want to set up like fixtures in certain positions. Um, it'll always remember where those are and things like that. So. So I will link a couple of videos that are really good on explaining um, the machine coordinate system and workspace coordinate systems, because that's what we're going to be working in. So by default, you'll see things down here that say like G53, G54, 55, blah, blah, blah. So G53, and I'm talking, let's talk general terms here. So G53, think about a, a virtual space, right? But that is your machine coordinate system. So when you turn your machine on and you go home and it finds your limit switches, so it knows where the head is relative to the machine, you're working in the G53 space. When you load your project, you are by default working in the G54 space. So when you set up um, your head and you set your project home, things like that, you're doing that by default in G54. Now you can use other workspaces. I think you have six total workspaces you can work in. So G55, 56, 57, 58, and, and there's more. So I'm using those other work coordinate systems to set homes in each one of them so that I can assign them to a macro and move the head out of the way and, and do things that I need to do. So for example, here are the macros I have so far. So a middle of the machine, a far right, a back middle, and a front left. So right now we're back middle. Why don't we move to the far right? So that's a position I've set as zero for that location and that work coordinate system if I move front and left. Same thing. So you can see here what's happening with the macro. In that last move, I issued a G58, which is, hey, work in the G58 um, work coordinate zone right? Go home, and I've defined home, and I'll show you how to do that, and then default back to the G54 workspace, because that is where, let's say, my project is. So this is really helpful. Let's say you've got something loaded, um, and I'm going to put a project on, and there's my project, and it is, you know, it's nowhere near my, uh, my front left corner. So let's go ahead and jog the controller over, So I'm in the G54 space, right? Because that's where we told it to. So if I say um, reset my work coordinate zero, you can see this command was issued to G10, P0, L20, X0, Y0. So that's saying my project, this is my project home. So now I can go back to my macros. Let's say, I, so I run my program, does its thing, and I wanna move the head out of the way because it's got the dust, you know, the dust shoe on it and all that good stuff. I wanna move it out of the way so I can look. So let's move it far right. So it moves it up and out of the way. Um, I can now look at my project, see what's going on, or I can say, well, no, you know, move it to the back. Okay. Same thing. And uh, so if it was a bigger project, you need to get it out of the way. And I can look at my project. Now, if I want to return to my project, let's say I need to 
um, re-zero the Z and I need to rerun it for some other reason, I need to add something, whatever, I can just say return to zero. And that's going to be my project zero. So it's going to be that front left corner of my project. So that's how you can have, you know, some, some hot keys or some hot positions uh, around your bed that you can quickly move the head off to um, and still maintain your project. So why don't we build one? Um, so I, I don't have one in this front right corner. So I'm going to go ahead and do one in this front right corner. So I want to change my... Um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and jog the controller. I'm going to move it over. So I'm going to raise the Z a bit. And I'm going to go ahead and move... Move the head over to the right into the position that I like. And I've hit my soft limit, so let's change this down a little bit. Okay, so I've hit my soft limit there. And so now, get rid of that error. I can't. There we go. Okay, so now I'm in the position I like. Um, you know, again, so we, let's look at our macros real fast. So we've used the G55, 56, 57, 58. So I'm going to make this the G59 space. So I'm going to enter that space by simply typing G59. Enter. Okay. So now I want to go ahead and set this position at zero. So I'm going to do G10, L20, P0, X0, Y0, Z0. And my X is not right. That would be a zero. There we go. <clears throat> and then enter. And so now that is home for G59. So to assign this to a macro, it's super easy. Go up here to machine. Go to edit macros. Let's add a macro here. And we're just going to call this front right. And so to issue this command, we're going to make sure that we enter into the G59 space. And then we're going to issue it the home command. So G0, X0, Y0, Z0. And then I want to default back to my G54 work zone. And then you give it a description. Moves, head, front, right corner. Hit apply and hit OK. So, why don't we go ahead now? So now you can see that we now have our macro here. So let's move. Uh, let's move to the middle of the machine. So it issued my G55. Went home to G55 and defaulted back to my G54 space. Now let's go back to our project zero. We do that by returning the zero button. So there's my project. Now let's move to the front right to get this thing out of the way. Why is this not liking me? So I probably have something wrong in my macro. And I do. There is a typo. Apply. Okay. So I guess always uh, go ahead and preview your work. So let's move back here. So there we go. Now we're at that front right corner that we just did. I can move to my front left corner. I can move anywhere I want now that I have all of those positions set up in my different workspaces. Work coordinate zones. Sorry, I keep saying that wrong. I like calling them workspaces. They're virtual workspaces, work coordinate zones, and they're, they're made distinct by the G55, 56, 57, 58, 59, whatever. Right? I think, like I said, I think you get six additional ones. So there's back middle. So you can move this thing all around, no matter what. Uh, and I can always come straight back to my project. So there you have it. I hope this is helpful for some folks. Um, you know, again, I'm, I'm by no means an expert. These are uh, little tidbits that um, I find out or do or mess with. And like I said, there were a couple videos that really helped me sort of understand some of these uh, work coordinate zones. I will link them in the description. I highly recommend that you go uh, look at them. 
anyway, um, again, hope this helps. Talk to you soon.